all my students were like this, my life would be a bowl of cherries. Hey, Motor Man here. And you know, I show you a lot of videos of my class where the riders are making all kinds of mistakes. But I want to show you this because these two riders actually practiced prior to getting to the class. They got my video, they set up the course, they practiced, and then they wanted me to simply refine their skills. That's exactly what I did. So watch this. Now that's a tip. That was so pretty. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I got a little misty eyed. It was so pretty. <laughs> Do that again. I believe Steve is already into the motor officer style. See, he's going from the big orange cone between. The big orange and the little green. He's doing, doing it easily. He's thinking about getting into competition riding. I'd say he's, he's ready. So on one side, you're doing it the harder way. On the other side, the easier way. Since these two had practiced prior to coming to the class, I felt I could push their limits a little bit more than I normally would with riders. This rider is doing excellent. She's doing what I would call half of the motor officer offset cone weave. It's quite difficult. And I even had her husband doing it with no rear brake. Only perfect practice makes perfect. If you practice the wrong things, you just get good at doing it wrong. Oh, Thank great. You. Thank you. I'd say you're ready for competition now. Really? At the very least in the novice level. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I definitely practiced. Like, as I said, I've gone, had your video for a couple years and I was atrocious when I started, like I really was, and I, I know that, but I just worked at it, worked at it. Just, you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now I got them using just clutch and throttle. No rear brake. As I've said a million times, once you get good with the clutch and throttle, you really don't need that rear brake when you're practicing. Out on the street, you're gonna make a turn, U-turn or something. Yeah, you wanna use that rear brake because that's the last place you wanna drop it. But doing this without any rear brake just makes you really good with the clutch and throttle. Beautiful, she's doing this with no rear brake. And it's still in complete control of the motorcycle. Here's Allison, uh, about a second or third time through the intersection. I told her to pick up her speed a little bit. She takes direction very well. And she's using all the space available, as I told her to. She gets her front tire all the way over to that green tipped cone. If you cut yourself short and don't get to that green cone, of course, the turn is even more narrow. Most riders, it takes five or six times through before they get the hang of it. She does it right away because they practice prior to getting here. Now we move on to the snowman. That's three circles. The first is 30 foot. This is 26 foot. And the last one is 24 foot. Steve got so good that he's even doing this without any rear brake, simply using his head and eyes and the friction zone. So many people find this a difficult exercise because there's a lot of cones in a confined space, but you only have to look at the green tipped ones. This is Allison's third time through the exercise and she gets it perfect now. Notice she's using all the space available. You want to get that front tire tracking right alongside the cones. Of course, she's in the friction zone, got just a tiny bit of pressure on the rear brake. Sometimes she doesn't even need that rear brake, but she turns her head and eyes and looks where she wants to put that motorcycle, and it goes there every time. How did they get this good? Well, they got my video, the Ride Like a Pro Experience video, and they actually went out and practiced. As I tell people, 
It just takes practice and a little determination. In the Ride Like a Pro Experience video, I show you a step-by-step -step approach so you can't go wrong. Watch it a few times and then do just what they did. Go out and practice. Best 20 bucks you'll ever spend.